Today is my mother's birthday. This is in celebration of Corrine Davis, born June 14, 1929. She taught me how to love people. She taught me about love. My father taught me how to be a man, but my mother taught me compassion. All right. Now, on February the 10th, 2011, I was supposed to attend my mother's funeral. On February the 7th, 2011, y'all locked me up and charged me with terrorism. I've been fighting for my freedom ever since. You feel me? In Illinois and in Maryland. I am Dred Scott. Do blacks have rights in which white America respects? That's my community service award from Verizon. All right? And this is my art submission for the big show. This is also Letters Design. This is props for my movie Letters Design. I work for 85% of the richest people in the state. I work for Kathleen Hughes. I work for Johnny Oleski. I work for the mayor, Jack Young. I work for y'all. I cook for y'all. I'm a caterer. And I've been in y'all's houses. And when I was in your houses, I was videotaping. And I was making a documentary about race and racism in America. We'll talk about ceasefire. We got to acknowledge that we got a war on drugs. You got to have a war if you want to have a ceasefire. And the war ain't nothing but on the black community. Y'all make me famous for toilets. So I ran with that. I ran with that. I'm a 50s baby. I was born in 1959. Emmett Till was my Freddie Gray. Was my Tyrone West. These is my sisters and brothers. And that's little old shorty. Like I said, you kidnapped me from my mother. I was supposed to be going to Vegas. I was supposed to be retired. You feel me? So now I got to do it in a different way. <sighs> this is the toilet for 2019 Big Show. All right. And these are the different people I work for. The Oreos. The Ravens. I'm the king of talking shit and I can back it up. I can back up whatever I say. And we're going to talk about Senator Kelly and the money he has in the prison industry. We're going to talk about mass incarceration in the prison industry. And we're going to talk about Frank DeBell's bondsmen. We're going to talk about the money that Alec has in your that Alec has in your TV stations. We're going to show you how Alec spends money in the Baltimore Sun and how the media demonizes black people. Like I said, I'm a 50s baby. These are my sisters. You feel me? I come from that era. I know what Jim Crow looked like. I was fighting for my kids, my sons and my daughters. You feel me? Because I'm a father to my kids. It's Father's Day on Sunday. And you kidnapped me from my kids. You took me from my family behind some dumb ass shit, behind the toilet. You go to Donnie Moses. He got everything I've been doing since 2006. The Baltimore City Police Department been knowing everything I've been doing since 2006. This is my toilet for the big show. Like I said, it's going to be about ceasefire. It's going to be about being black and white America. We're going to show you the racism in your courts. You feel me? We're going to show you about racism in your courts. And we're going to show you about black racism. Racism don't exist without black cooperation. You feel me? Racism don't exist without black cooperation. So I just put y'all out there. See, a toilet don't care if you're black, white, straight, or gay. A toilet take your shit every day. And I got plenty of toilets to show the shit that we've been going through. You feel me? Show you about being black and white America. Show you ain't nothing changed. You feel me? Ain't nothing changed. Police brutality. We got white people using black people like Bobby Zirkin. Bobby Zirkin been blocking a federal investigation. Bobby Zirkin... Want to claim that he care about black people? No. He sells out the black community. Cheryl Glenn, the rest of y'all. Like I said, Bill Gates wants to build a better toilet. Well, we ain't got to build a better toilet. It's art and, art and activism. You feel me? Art and activism. Injustice. All right? Like I said, this is my toilet. I'm going to talk about racism. We're going to talk about Martin Luther King. We're going to talk about the real news. This is my art submission for the big show. You feel me? 
And I don't want nobody left out the loop. I don't want nobody left out the loop. This is what we're talking about. I am Dred Scott. This is the case that y'all need to investigate. This shows you that black people have no rights. You feel me? This case right here. The Department of Justice and had this for over a year. This is the case that Johnny Oleski asked to be investigated. This is the case that Scott Schellenberger don't want to deal with. Nobody kill anybody. When are you going to stop killing us? We got to use the cameras to defend us. You feel me? Because you ain't got no good intentions for us. You feel me? Got a lot of shit coming out your head. A lot of shit in your head to come out your mouth. So in 2019, we're going to use the camera. That's going to be my gun. Click, aim, and shoot. You feel me? The art of getting money. Letters design. Like I said, this ain't my fight. This is our struggle. You kidnapped me from my family. You called me a terrorist. So I'm going to terrorize you with the truth, and I'm going to terrorize you with toilets. That's my mother. She worth dying for. She worth fighting for. So I'm going to do it in an educated way. Treat you like you treat me. Treat you like shit. Larry Young been knowing about this. Kathleen Hughes been knowing about this. Radio One been knowing about this. TV One been knowing about this. Y'all left me in jail. Y'all let them do this to me. And claiming to be a voice in the black community. You just a piece of shit like the rest of them. You've been selling out the black community with your TV stations. Roland Martin. If you got a problem with me, holler at me. Because I might leave this toilet at your station. You took me from my mother. This is dedicated to Corrine Davis.